and a very good day to you. I greet you in Jesus' precious name. I have a very serious message to share with you today. So I want to get right down to it. We start off in the book of Isaiah in the Old Testament, chapter 42, and I'm reading two verses, verse 6 and verse 7. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. This is a mandate from God directly to you and me today. And will hold your hand. I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people, as a light to the Gentiles, to open blind eyes, to bring out prisoners from the prison, those who sit in darkness from the prison house. People have lost their way. People are imprisoned. Many of them have made their own prisons. What kind of prison? A prison of drug addiction, alcoholism, pornography, a prison of fear, a prison of self-preservation, a prison of I'm all right, Jack, and to hell with the rest of you. And I'm not swearing. I mean it. That is a prison that we need to get out of. Because Jesus has called you and I to go into all the world and to tell people about the soon coming King. John chapter 8 and verse 12 says that Jesus is the light of the world. These people that are in prison are lost. They are in darkness. They need help. And the only way they're going to get it is from you and from me. We have an obligation. You can't tell me you feel like it or you don't feel like it. I don't always feel like preaching, but it's not about how I feel. It's about what Jesus has called me to. By the way, a Gentile is a non-Jew. And a, another word for a gentle, Gentile is anybody in this world. Black, white, old, young, Japanese, Chinese, Europeans, you name it. They need to hear the gospel. Because when they hear the gospel, the light will come into their lives and then they will see their way home. I had a very sad picture which the Lord showed me today. He showed me a little boy of maybe three years old standing in the middle of a shopping mall on a very busy day, maybe a Saturday morning. Everybody going back and forth, loud music blaring. This little boy standing there, he's got his teddy bear in his arm. He's holding on to that teddy bear for all he has. And the tears are running down his face and his nose is running and he is shouting. In fact, he is screaming because he is lost. He doesn't know where to go. His mother and him have been separated. The picture goes on. The mother's on the other side of the mall. She is frantic. She doesn't know where her child is. She doesn't know whether maybe he's been stolen for trafficking. And the devil is playing hell with her mind. And you and I are walking down that thoroughfare. I want to ask you a question. Are you going to walk past that little three-year-old boy? You say, well, I'm rather busy. You know, I've got a, a, long, a lot of things to do today. I'm having a big party tonight. And I need to get all the food and the alcohol and all the rest of it. Or are you going to stop and say to this little boy, don't worry, son, I will show you the way because I can see that you lost and pick him up in your arms and hug him tight and say, don't worry, we will find your mommy. That is an obligation that every single believer has. And then to go and find his mommy. Can you imagine what it's going to look like on that day when that little boy sees his mom, he stops crying, he opens his arms, she is, starts crying and they are reunited. That is what evangelism is about. One hungry beggar showing another hungry beggar where to find bread. Jesus bless you and goodbye.